Weird News on Helen Derone Radio. This is Leia with the Weird News. Hi, Leia. Hey, Marilyn. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, okay. You are in such bright colors. It's lovely. Oh, thank you. Here yeah. we go again oh. with the trendy fashion oh, news. Oh, just and in. Leia. All you we know, need <laughs> now is just Shauna to come and join in. That's true. You know what? I think that Richard's jealous. Maybe. He Why wanted... am I jealous, Marilyn? Because she commented on what I'm wearing and she did not comment on what you're wearing. Because I wear the same thing every day. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to tell you this, you really Richard, don't. but you have to coordinate with your headphones. That's why. Ah, that's See? right. Yes. He is coordinated with his headphones. Yes. yes, that's why he always wears gray and black. <laughs> Maybe if we get you, can get you some psychedelic headphones. Oh, there you go. And, and you'll come in wearing... Yes. Yeah, I'll come all flower power and everything. Yes. You got it. Yeah. You got it. That includes long hair. Uh-oh, wait a second. No, that's, okay. that's an impossibility, my... Uh, <laughs> Is there any weird... Case. We're going to get him some... What are those called? Um, dreadlocks. dreadlocks. Dredlo- we'll get you a dreadlocks wig. Hmm. I have well, a we, hat. We, we had one for Halloween. Yes. yes. With beads, with red mm. beads. Cool. Okay. Reggae music. Yes. Do you know, this is a cute one. A four-year-old boy's adorable love letter to a little girl in his class has gone viral. Ooh, what did he say? Well, Bennett's mother, Jennifer, posted the letter on Reddit, where it quickly became an internet sensation. I wrote love letters when I was four years old. On the internet? No, because there wasn't an internet. (laughs) In the letter, he invites his friend Bailey to play at his house, telling her, I think you are pretty like a horse or a ladybug. I'm not sure which. Oh, so sweet. sweet. Bennett, who has been fighting cancer since he was a baby, also serenades young Bailey with some food. You should come to my house and eat cheeses with me. Wow. And he goes on, isn't it? It And it goes on. I love you, and I lost a tooth last night. I think I would like to do a magic trick for you and then let you watch me battle robots. I like that. I do. That's so honest. Mrs. Skinner of New Oregon captioned the photo of the letter, If only adults could communicate (coughs) this well. I think so, too. Bennett apparently met Bailey in preschool last year, and they are now in the same class. Wow. Wow. He basically admires her from afar as she doesn't seem to have much interest in him. I know where he's coming from. That, oh. used, to, that used to happen to me when I was four years old. Really? Yeah. You used to write love letters and they didn't... That's right. You used to write love letters and they didn't answer you? No. I used to write them and then send them as an aeroplane to oh. the girls I like, you know. Oh, that was you? That was me. No, I wasn't in the same class <laughs> as you. I still have that little dent where that airplane hit me in the forehead. Okay. <laughs> I think he might be coming on a bit strong, his mom said. The four-year-old was watching his mother type some emails when he asked her if she could type him an email to Bailey. Wow. She explains, I told them I had a feeling our friend Bailey, being four and all, might not have an email account. <laughs> he then wanted me to print the letter out so he could give it to her. This is true love. Yeah. Can Bailey read? No, mm. but I bet her parents do. Yeah. I thought maybe it would stress Bailey's parents out, so we kind of put off giving it to her. Then the letter went viral, and we figured we better give it to her mom. Yeah. Oh, wow. She was very touched. But yet, I'm still unsure on what Bailey's exact reaction was, as her mom obviously had to read it to her being that she is only four, so no, she can't read yet. No, not yet. (laughs) Bennett was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer called neuroplastoma when he was just six months old. After years of treatment, they hope he will soon be declared cancer-free. I hope so, too, and I hope he finds true love with Bailey. Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, what a happy ending. I would love to see their wedding pictures. In about 15, 16 years Oh, I was thinking next month. I'm so sorry. And that's the Romantic Weird News. Thank you, Leia. Thank you.